Hello everybody, what is going on? My name is Sam, or the Pyro Ninja, and we are back with some more Modest Hardy Valley. Now we're going to be doing something slightly different today. So we got the uh, automated mod set up, well, almost set up. We have it downloaded, but we haven't put it in yet, because I tested it and when I went outside, one of my chests is too close to the shipping bin. So it deletes, so it sells all of my seeds. And that ain't too good, so we, uh, we're gonna try and fix it today. And then we have an event with Lei. Hey Sam, are you free this afternoon? I finally got my act together and I'm doing an art show tonight in the town square. Come out of town between 3 and 5 p.m. if you want to be there. Okay. Anything ready to harvest? Hops? Tomatoes? Nice. So, yeah, it was just... It was selling everything in these three chests. It's now open seven days a week. Oh, thanks, Marnie. Okay, so we're gonna... Take these. So we can't have anything in this direct vicinity of them. There. That should that should work. We need to find a better place for those anyway, but and we'll get to that. We'll get to that later. Anyway, uh, time to deal with all the crops. Now, hops work differently than will work differently in our case. We're going to treat hops much like we're going to treat wheat. Which is just... Uh, all of our hops are going to immediately be turned into stuff. So we're gonna just put all those in there. Nice. So keep these. And actually, I think it's time we, uh... will redesign this. So we'll wait for the cakes to finish. But what the plan will be is... Something like this. And then it should empty out everything. And then put the finished product in here. And then we might see about setting up a mega storage. I don't know if mega storage works with the automation mod. I mean, there's only one way to find out, really. Which is just to do it. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of... We're going to finish up today, and then we're going to close Stardew Valley, get the automation mod plugged in, and then move on to the next project. Yeah, I'm not going to be cheap enough yet to just... Put those in there. Like, put the mail machine. I still want to use the sheds. Let's see. We're going to get this set up for... We're going to get everything set up for automation. Oh. Wait, we need to... 
put these away for selling. So... I guess to prepare for automation, it'll just be... Put everything down so that it's, you know, touching each other. So we'll only need one row of looms. So something like this. We'll make it look nice later. And then we'll just run in, store everything in there, and then hopefully we'll see whether or not it actually does anything tomorrow. Now look at that pickup. That was nice. Always feels good when you get the like the right shot. There we go. Everything is going well right now. Let's see, put that away. Okay, we got all of that put away. All those put away. Unfortunately, I don't believe uh, it'll automate that process. Okay, and with that, we should be done with our morning chores. Go ahead and put that away. We have decent luck. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of remodeling. Let's see. Hmm. I think what we're going to end up doing is moving instead of having a localized chest center we'll have the chests located where we would need them So one chest can go here. So the Jumio hut is a two by six or two by three. So we can keep it right up here. Hmm. Actually, that might automate the process, and we don't want that. Actually. We can load these up like this. So let's see. Spring, spring. Spring. 
It should organize them by season. It does not. Good to know. Let's see. Yeah, that should work. Now, animal products. Wood can stay here. Because I don't really think we need the wood for anything. So I guess, yeah, our next challenges are just going to be... A, working on automation. And B, working on... Ooh, the art show. Nice. Wait, how'd she make that one? Sam, you're here. Okay, I guess I better introduce my pieces. Wish me luck. I want this. Um, okay, everyone. I, I do want that one. Thanks for coming to my art show. As some of you know, I've came to this town because I wanted to draw inspiration from the beautiful surroundings. This place really feels like home now. Okay, I'm going to introduce the sculptures now. I haven't named this one yet. She started out as an exercise in human anatomy, but I ended up seeing her through to completion. Her expression is initially unclear. Is embarrassed, amused, pain? I'll leave that up for you to decide. This one's called Post-Dimensional Null Space. It represents the boundaries of human imagination. The shape and color came to me vividly when I was in a trance state. Sorry, what? I've been calling this one Eggheads. I wanted to create an animatronic humanoid statue to to toy with the view's ability to properly attribute personhood to a physical entity. And this last one's called Wood Sculpture 3. It's a celebrate it's a celebration of my favorite sculptural material, wood. Well, those are my sculptures. Oh, one last thing. I'd like to say thanks to my special friend, Sam. He gave me the idea for this show and the courage to go through with it. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. I'm proud of you, Lay. Events like this really breathe life into our little town. I love your art, Lay. post dimensional Null Space is my favorite. Thanks for doing this. I want this one. <laughs> Just in the corner. Thanks, everyone. Now let's start the bidding on these wonderful art pieces, a marvelous addition to your home. Oh no, is uh, Demetrius gonna get it? Okay. I think Robbins closes at five, maybe six. I'm really hoping it closes at six because I also wanna waste a bunch of money and buy the seller. Okay, well that that answers that question. Looks like uh looks like I ain't doing that. I guess I can still go to the mountains. Where did my morning go? It felt. I guess I did a lot of remodeling, so that would do it. Hey, everyone. Ugh. Yeah, I've been looking at, like, getting a few different types of mods. 
but it seems like some of them are I don't know not giving me the because like my my mod deciding prac like process is I will Uh, sorry, my thought process when it comes to uh, getting mods is always first looking up my, like, going on to Nexus and looking at all the mods available. Usually taking a look at the things that were just released today or this week. Also looking at new entries, trending stuff, and... Uh, updated and then I'll do some testing with the mod just make sure that it runs properly also try it out a little bit see if it is something I want to use because there are a lot of mods for Stardew Valley and I want to kind of decide I don't want to just like get every mod so I kind of just use that as a method to uh, decide a little bit nicer and kind of have a bit of a cleaner look when it comes to which mods I want to end up actually using and then again if you guys want to see what mods I use I have a list for it on my reddit which is in the link on all of the Stardew Valley modded VODs, as well as if anybody in chat ever wants to know, I can always post the link. Yeah, it's just one of those things that's... Oh, nice! We finally get this cutscene, because we finished the community center. Ah, Sam, I've been waiting for you. I need to talk to Wizard more. I've... Have I ever told you I used to be married? Strange, I know, for a man like me, but it's true. <clears throat> My wife and I were together for many years, until, until I made a mistake and drove her away. Her anger and envy were so intense that she turned green and began flying around the countryside, cursing everything in her path. When I found out, I sealed this passage to her home, fearing that an innocent villager might fall prey to her dark magic. But now I must unseal it, for when we separated, she took my magic ink. I need that magic ink back. I would do it myself, but I can't seem see her again. That's why I need your help. In order to unseal this passage, I need a dark talisman, Tatakrobus in the sewer. He should know where to find one. I'm counting on you. If you can retrieve my magic ink, I'll promise I'll make it worth your while. Now go! Wizard away! Open, there's the witch. Nice. So I guess tomorrow we're going to get the automation mod set up. And then we'll also see about uh, talking to Krobus and beginning that quest line. Because it is a new quest line. So we'll kind of, we'll see what happens. I don't... I wonder if I can get in through Maru's place, Maru's door. Like, I'm not coming here to shop. I'm coming here to... Guess I can't. <laughs> Maru, tell your parents to let me in so I can give your dad a pufferfish.
Okay. So we got the rare seed. We're going to hold on to that for a bit. Until at least we can uh, make another Iradian Sprinkler. Because I don't want to... There we go. Okay. And now we're at the end of the day. And let's go to sleep. Now we're going to quickly go to the BRB. While I... Uh, set up the automation mod. So yeah, we'll be right back. I mean, you guys can still hear me. I'm just gonna be taking that, cut, open up Stardew, mods, gameplay mechanics, paste, and there, the mod should be all set up. So I'll wait till we get the uh, everything nice and good. Like I said, it is really easy to mod this game. Mm. Nice. Stay hydrated, kids. Man, I have the weirdest stream schedule. Did it at 9 o'clock to midnight yesterday. Go to, uh... <laughs> start in the middle of the day, or like, start at noon today. That's just... That's the type of person I am. Well, I wanted to get this done early so I can play Persona 4. You know, I might say about just putting a hidden keg there. Oh, nice. Thanks, Maru. That's so weird. Oh, looks like it's making all the gold bars. Dear customer, we buy ugly farmhouses just like yours. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks again for coming to the art show. It was such a success. I sold nearly all my sculptures. And everyone has positive courage. I hope to see you again soon. And then Pam gives me a battery. Hell yeah. Okay. So we'll harvest the radishes tomorrow. We're going to just also set that up. Start to get a bunch of that. Uh, we need to get the Jumyos set up real quick. Because uh, we're going to be getting a lot of hops. Okay. So, gold cells. All of our hops go into storage. Those go into wheat. And we keep those. And now we can grab the new seeds. Down here. Melon seeds. We forgot to buy more wheat seeds. Not like it's an issue. Just means we gotta go and get them. So we'll do that 
do that in a second. Okay, what's being made? Raspberry, nice. There we go. And then we can store the wheat in here as well. As well as the melons. Nice. Ugh. We're gonna need a upgrade this area soon as well. Very soon. The joys of automation. I mean, at least the one chest makes it easy to get everything set up, and then we can just pick up every all of the finished products. Let's see, we're going to let the fruit mature a bit more. Nothing else is ready. Perfect, and it's Alex's birthday. Nice. Will it burn through that wood click quickly? Okay. Uh We need one more chest. Actually two more chests. Oh, we need to make this one. There we go. Because we're going to go in here. Interesting. With this setup, it'll it'll take all of them to that chest. Nice. Oh, it's producing so much stuff. Then we'll go ahead and put the melons away. Okay, what is Alex like? Okay, what can we get him? Apples. Okay, let's uh go ahead and drop this off. There we are. So we got a few things we need to do today. Buy our wheat seeds from Pierre. Then... Head out and... Let's go buy our wheat seeds first. Harvey, what are you doing? Oh, is this Harvey's heart event? Nice. All right, that concludes our aerobic class. Are you breaking a sweat? 
Ugh. Yes. Sam, you were watching me? How embarrassing. I didn't want anyone to know. At least all of you. I'm just trying to stay healthy. As you get older, it requires more effort. I'm not very good. I'm not in very good shape, though. I can hardly keep up with them. Look, don't tell everyone in town that I'm doing dance aerobics. I won't tell. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate that. I was just here to buy wheat. There we go. And then Alex probably will be home. Oh. Ugh, I just can't reach it. If only I could get up from this infernal chair. Thanks, young man. Uh, it happened 30 years ago. I was working in the coal mines. We were near the end of the shift, but there was one last seam that needed to be broken up. I went in aiming to set off a stick of dynamite, but my foot slipped and into the crack and I dropped it. The dynamite exploded on impact. Next thing I remember, I was laying on the hospital, and they told me I'd never walk again. So there you have it. You probably figured I was just too old to walk. Well, I'll have you know that I've been spraying. I'd be sprier than a spring chicken if I hadn't been in that accident. You've been very nice to me, young man. I appreciate that. When you're old, you start to forget that everyone cares about you. Ba just back-to-back -back heart events. Nice. Howdy, Alex. Oh, hey, I was just doing my daily strength training routine. Sorry, I have no shirt on. Hot. Uh, Sam, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. I've started to realize that, well, that I've been real rude to you toward in the past. You know about going pro and all that? I guess I might not actually be cut out for the professional sports. Maybe it was just a childish dream, you know? Anyway, I want to apologize for you for bragging about and being annoying about it. I appreciate that you stayed friends with me through all that. No, you don't want to go fast when doing weights. Going fast just gets a hurt. Nice. And now we're gonna run up to, uh... To Robbins and see about... Getting a cellar set up. Hmm. Damn, I also should have brought my, uh... I also should have brought my, uh, pufferfish. And I'll get to it later. Let's see. There was other things I wanted to get done. Mainly, I wanted to, uh... Oh yeah, I need to talk to Krobus. Oh yeah, I was gonna build one more chest. Because I did figure out what I wanted to do. Which is...
So we're gonna... We're gonna lose these. And now we're gonna... Set up our automation like this. And basically, we're going to put all of our veggies, except for hops, in here. And we're going to put all of our fruits in here, as well as... all the wheat. That way we can get uh, alcohol. And I just want to have them separated so that we don't have to think about it. Hmm. I guess we're done with that. Hmm. Trying to decide what I should do. I guess let's go talk to Krobus now. Uh. Also grabbing. Lava Katana. Because I feel like. We are probably going to get into a fight. Because I think once we talk to Krobus, he's going to lower the gate down. That magical barrier. Uh, I just cleaned up my fish tank today. Getting, uh... Just trying to make it better in general. Adjusted the water filter so that there's actually more of a current. Oh, Krobus and Dwarf. Oh yeah, they don't like each other. A shadow person above ground. This is outrageous. Well, he's technically in a sewer. Your people were responsible for the death of my entire family. If you dwarves hadn't driven us from our ancestral home, we'd never have to resort to violence. I'm sorry about your family. Sorry isn't going to cut it. Oh, they're going to try and fight. And then I'm just like, Howdy there, partner! <laughs> Break it up, you two. Let me at him, he's despicable. Come and get it, shrimpy. And then Wizard's like, yo... Fuck off. <laughs> Silence, both of you. The elemental wars have long been finished. You have no reason to fight any longer. The two of you must make pence for the sake of the humans that live around you. Surely you can see that. Very well, I'll stay away from the sewer from now on. And I truly am sorry about the past, Dwarf. I have no personal gripe with you. Very good. I shall cast a seal of promise to finalize this agreement. Cool. And now let's, uh... Dark Talisman? Hmm. Now that I mentioned it, I did have one in my possession not too long ago. Unfortunately, I dropped it while exploring the tunnels in the far corner. It started heating up in there, so I left to hurry and sealed the entrance. You seem pretty sturdy, though, so I'll open it back up for you. Just be careful, okay? So 
so much stuff. Okay. What's the dog statue for, anyway? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, we got a mod for that. Ooh. Uh. Man, I love it when all the flies spawn. Well, at least we're going to be farming a lot of bug meat now. Ooh, algae soup. Nice. There, well, let's just... I mean, this area is... Pretty deep. And there. Dark Talisman acquired. I also should buy a uh, Void Egg from Krobus so that we can get some Void Mayo because that's what the Goblin. Goblin! That's what they like. And since I don't... Uh, they're expensive, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> Whenever I enter or exit the uh, sewers, I'm always like... I always think it's some hard event. Let's see. One place I did forget to check was to see if the, uh, what's it called? The crab traps, if they're starting to automate. I wouldn't think so. Yeah, so it's going to be just right here. And then it'll automate the crabs. We also probably should get a worm box built. Uh, little tedious, but shouldn't be too bad. Let's go get everything put away in here. Like, look how well it just burns through everything. So that it just does produce so much nicer. And then I can check in those two chests just to see if anything is produced. So we need one more of those. I think we're only going to keep the highest quality coffee beans in here. And then we'll keep all the other coffee beans. For the kegs.
And it's slowly going to start burning through everything. Hmm. There we go. Now look at that money. Like we're doing really good stuff for production. You got mail. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's see what the mail is. Nice. Thanks, Marnie. Let's see, Queen of Sauce is on. Ooh, maple bars. Nice. I guess we're going to need to go to the, uh... We're probably going to need to go to the desert today. Because we got to get a bunch more star fruit. Let's see. Nothing else that we harvested got consumed, so it's just our radishes and the star fruit. And we'll talk to, uh,. We'll go ahead and hold on to all of these. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and hold on to all of our star fruit for now. Just until we uh, finish the uh, Jumyo huts. There, everything looks to be going well. All the animals seem to be relatively happy today. Which is always like greatly appreciated. Uh, you guys need a lot of feeding, though. Okay, there we go. Let's see, we got a lot of eggs. And then we got void mayo. So we hold on to that. Let that all do its thing.
Nice. Everything looking really good right now. Dang, we lost one of the uh, red cabbage. Damn. Okay, let's go put everything away. We'll grab that as well as we'll grab a pufferfish. Okay. So I guess first thing we're going to do today is go to the desert. We're going to grab any worms that we see and then buy star fruit. And then we're gonna... Oh, we got one worm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I slid my phone on my desk. And it made like... I don't know, like a Yoshi noise. I don't know, it's weird. Sugar cane. Nice. Now let's just go get some worms. How about that? Like we're... We're really close to finishing the community center. It does feel like doing the, uh... This stuff will be, like, the two items in the desert are going to be one of our biggest hurdles. Just because it does feel like the hit rate in the desert is much lower. Hmm? Oh, an uh, event with Clint. Oh, he's behind the house. Ah, hello there. Who? I'm finishing up and already in a few sword for the monster hunters from Castle Village. You might have heard of him. He goes by the name Scyther. Castle Village is the home to best monster slayers and the art and artisans in the region. I beg to differ. I've contracted with various guilds in the Ferngo Republic to provide custom crafted weapons, shields, and armor. It's not much, but it's honest work. God dang it. Really? Really, that meme. We're going with that meme. Cool, thanks. Right now, I'm not getting any orders from the Adventurers Guild here in Stardew Valley. When, we're, when there were more members, we had a set of demand of new weapons. The guild used to be a lot bigger, but they've lost some good people over the years. The summit's gotten crowded. Sorry, Sam, I didn't mean to bring, up, bring that up. Especially with you being a guild member and all. What'd you say? I've hiked up there myself. Some of those adventurers had quite the kill count on the tombstone. They were fine people. Sam, you've made an excellent stride protecting the valley from monsters. 
while also building up an impressive farm. I envy that. Not brave enough to venture forth and fight monsters. But I do what I can to ensure the safety of those who do. And that's why I pride myself in my smithing work. I know I'm a bit awkward sometimes, Sam, but thank you for stopping by. I need to get back and finish this sword else. See the next see you next time you drop by, or maybe at the saloon. It's interesting. I think one of the ways to tell if a event is SVE or just SV is whether or not the player ends up back where they first entered or if they end up by the uh, where the event occurred. For example, that event is just there. The player ends up uh, the player ends up back at like by Clint's, whereas other events in the base Stardew Valley appear to have the player end back where they started. Man, I got hope for a second, and then that just hit me. So that's cool. Nice. And we still have the dark. Okay. And let's just teleport there and do this. Yeah! Human! You want to pass? I'm sorry, this is private property. This smell! I can't resist! Give me that! Cool, thanks. And then we have these three totems, which we aren't gonna use. This one gets rid of your kids. Yeah. And then this should take us back to the wizards. Oop, a Jumio hut. Nice. You found my ink. Excellent. Er. Did you happen to see my ex-wife? No? Well, what about her house? Do you think she lives alone, or... Dang it, wizard, I love you. You're an idiot. Actually, I, don't tell me. I don't want to know. She has a goblin. If that'll make you feel better. Anyway, you must be wor wondering about your reward. Here. Okay, now we can craft stuff. It's a book of summoning. The arcane potential is immense, but I'll make it simple for you. By using this book, you can summon magic buildings directly to your farm. I think you'll find it useful. Or, uh, oh, I almost forgot to say, uh, thank you. I gotta come to the wizard more often. Oh, another event with the wizard. And the book's there. What book are we going to find? Okay. Oh, wizard's here. Hello, Sam. Hmm. That book you have in your hand is over a hundred years old. It outlines the magical properties of a number of mysterious p mystical planets, many of which are now extinct. Recently, I was fortunate enough to obtain several seeds of ancient fruit previously believed to be long extinct. 
and I'm cultivating them outside. I hope to study their arcane energies as they grow. The world holds countless mysteries waiting to be discovered and studied. Our knowledge of some of these mysterious has been passed down among magic practitioners, practitioners through these books for many generations. Visitors from town here are rare, and no one, and not one of them, has been drawn to my books, Sam. If you choose to pursue deeper arcane knowledge, I'll be delighted to assist. Perhaps one day I'll even teach you about the deeper governing laws of nature that bind our world. I want to do magic and crap. Glad to see your prospect excites you. You are a true seeker of knowledge. Feel free to browse any of the books in my collection. That interests you, Sam. Don't open them too far, as it could crack the spine. Some of these books are many hundreds of years old. I'll be in the other room with the big boiling point cauldron. If you need assistance, please let me know. Cool. Thanks, wizard. Okay, now... So, Jumio Hut? The gold clock is so expensive. Jumio Hut's actually relatively cheap. Give me a second, I'm checking something for school. Uh, I'm just making sure that, uh, my classes start when they do. Because, like, you don't... 9.30 and 19. Yep. We're safe. Actually, let's go. Let's go make two Jumio huts now. Or, you know, just have another hard event. Or just a normal event. Hey, Andy! Hey there, farmer. You got me in the midst of foraging. Look, lots of forage today. The rain makes them, a lot of them pop up. I enjoy looking for forage in the forest. If I could, I'd make it my full-time job. Not much money in fortune, though. I'd be no better off than that Linus fella. I, for one, enjoy sleeping in a heated house with a fridge. So you busy? I have some things to talk about. Yeah. Sure. Great, let's get out of these shrubs. That chain fellow left his mess here. I had nothing to do with it. He used to come here to drink. Don't see him much now. I do the same at Alexa's abandoned house. Shane and I don't talk much, but we have some things in common. Both support Joja and heavy drinkers. <laughs> Things are tough when you're all on your own, farmer. I don't have many people I'd call close friends in my life. I didn't get handed a free farm with a massive plot of land. You know, I tried talking to Mayor Lewis about letting Sophia, Susan, and I take over your grandpa's farm. It was good land being left to spoil. There was nothing Lewis could do about it. Your grandpa still owned the deed. To that here land. You showed up and took it over. 
been doing a yabba darn good job. What am I trying what I'm trying to say is I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. I won't lie, I used to be jealous of you. You only started to farm work recently, relatively speaking. I've been doing this all my life, and I haven't amounted to much. At first, I thought you'd move out of the valley because you couldn't handle the farm work. City kid going from an office job to farming is a radical change in lifestyle. But you didn't. You kept at it, kept improving and showing me you're wrong. I can tell you're passionate about farming as best you can. You brought more com commerce to the valley with that publicity of Pyro Mod Farm. All the farmers are selling more as a result. I suppose what I really am trying to say here is... Thank you. Thank you for inspiring me to be a better person and giving farm having farm more business. Help me life more than you know. Yeah. Cool beans. A good view from here. Gotta say, this right here is the Fern Gillian dream. Living in Sardew Valley. Thanks for being a good friend. Show me my and show me compassion, Sam. Now I'm gonna go back to forging. Not quite done yet today. Drop a letter. I want to give you something. See you around, farmer. Hmm. Interesting. Nice. Let's see. Let's find Andy's farm and see if he's in there still. Well, there's Marnie's. Oh, there's just Abigail. Howdy, Abigail. Hmm. Where is Andy? He's not appearing on the map. At least I ain't seeing him. Because usually it shows where they should be. Hmm. Speaking of which, where's Susan? <laughs> Both have gone missing. That deeply concerns me. It's always strange when those two disappear off the, uh, map. Hmm. And we'll worry about it later. I wonder if Shane's working. We'll keep an eye on Stardrop Saloon, see if it says Shane's there. Because he should have a job there now. That we did finish the, uh... Community Center. So we should have enough money to actually build two Jumyo huts. So we're going to build the two right there. Nice. So we got... That. 
that. We'll s hold on to those. And then we need just stone and fiber. Luckily, we should have a good amount of both. Hmm. Did we burn through everything? Actually, here's something we can do. So we need three more... We need three more sprinklers. We're gonna make a fourth one as well. We're not gonna grow anything this year. Here. We're just gonna get those all set up. Because we do have so much gold. And then... We got the rare seed. And we got ourselves another Iridian Sprinkler. And now we're just gonna... And we're gonna start just building up a very large amount of that. Okay. I don't know how late the Wizards is open. Oh. Hi, Abigail. Okay, good. He's still open. Hmm. So, let's see. It's eight from the bottom. So, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Let me check the uh, radius. Huh. Oh, I guess since it is from the bottom one. Is a 17 by 17. So. Let's see. I'm just trying to get a. Get an image. Wait. That Jimio hut's a lot cheaper than it normally is. Hmm. I guess we'll just take it. Let's see, I'm trying to find the layout that I'm using. Because I said mine up a very specific way. Like... Because it's not a perfect 9x9x9x9. 
it's slightly different. Hmm. Is that the loadout? That looks like it might be the loadout. Well, looks like with this loadout, it places it here. Let's see. If it's here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If it's here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to just get an image of its range display. So it's eight. And it's doorway. So the doorway is now at the very center. So the normal cost of it, okay, so it's slightly cheaper. I mean, I ain't looking a gift horse in the mouth. Thanks, thanks Abigail. Not like I wanted to use that. Okay. So the Jumios should start to harvest for me. So that's going to be really convenient. Especially for the hops. And now I can do with these what I want. And that's basically going to amount to... We're going to be turning all of them into wine. There we go. Uh, we'll talk to Demetrius later. Hmm. What was his challenge? 10 beats. That's fall. So I guess we'll just do that in fall then. I forgot that we got honey. Nice. <laughs> Howdy, Maru. There we go. Let's get the watering bucket. What mail do we have? He wants a star fruit. We can do that. We'll let the Jumios do their harvesting. So we carry one star fruit to give to Kent. And we got wasabi juice. So we're not going to sell the wasabi juice. 
because we should get uh We should get upgrades soon. Ooh, raspberry. Or a salmon berry. We'll just go put that with the others. And I guess we'll just keep our juice here. So it looks like they didn't harvest anything that was consumable, so we're good. Let's go take care of uh, Cutter Queen. There you are. Oh, one of our walkways broke. Where? Let's see if we can find it. Doesn't look like it's... Not there. Oh, there it is. Okay, everything's looking good. Yeah. Like, this automation mod is going to make it much easier to do all the chores. Just because I don't need to think about anything. It'll just be grab what I need. Put it away. And all the fruit trees are done. And then it just... <laughs> Get all the fruit. We'll probably take care of... Let's put away... Let's put away all this stuff first. And then we'll... Head out and take care of the animals. Perfect. Did you find enough, another truffle? He did. You know what? We haven't sold a truffle yet, so... Let's just get that done. Let's see. Coffee beans go away. There, everything's looking good. Now let's put everything away in the house that we need to. Including coffee. There we go. So I'm guessing tomorrow is when we're probably going to 
have the cellar finished. It's going to be interesting to check the uh, mushrooms whenever I remember to. And seeing just how many there are. Maybe Shan's going in for work. Kent? Where is Kent? Ah, he's out and about. Oh, just have a heart event with Sam. Hey, what do you think you're doing? That's private property. Uh, or I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, the youth these days, sometimes I wonder if this town isn't doomed. You saw what happened, Sam. What do you have to say about this? I'm staying out of this. Hmm, all right. I'll let this slide this time, Sam, but don't want to see you doing this anymore. I know I picked the worst option, but like, got it? Yes, sir. Did you see that trick, though? That was rad. I wonder how my uh, friendship went down with both of them. It's still maxed with Lewis. I mean, we're almost full with everyone. Like, we're doing really good right now. Now, where is Kent? He's up by Alex's house. So let's uh, let's head up that way. Oh, there he is. Nice. And now we're gonna give Demetrius his sample. Like, I'd say we're doing... Let's see. Is Demetrius home? Oh! Demetrius looks to be by Harvey's. Guess we're going there now. And then we'll probably investigate the crops at the end of the day. Hmm. Where is everyone? Is he... Demetrius? Oh, there you are. Perfect. Nice. I guess we can probably go on a mining adventure soon. That sounds like fun. Going to uh, the desert again, doing a mining adventure. Okay, looks like all the crops... Okay. 
All of these crops are taken care of. Okay, we can't mill corn. Ooh, the raspberry jelly's done. We'll put that away. Oh yeah, corn can make oil. Oh, we're gonna be starting to get corn a lot more often. There we go. We're gonna keep a small amount of corn. Oh, we gotta get more wood soon. Very soon. Let's see. There we go. Oh, they even cleaned up that plot. Nice. Wait, they're in range of the corn? Hmm. Okay, I know there is a button here that does the, uh, we don't want to do J, because I know what J does. Hmm. Weird. Well, I mean, if they can reach those ones, then there's nothing we need to worry about. Wrong one. So, veggies go... Hot peppers, raspberries. And we sell those corns, turn that corn into oil. Keep that pepper, sell that pepper. Ugh. There we go. Everything's coming together. Let's go check on the mushrooms as well. So it was just one shipment of mushrooms. Nothing that insane. <sighs> okay. Let's see, is there anything? We can't make anything else. Yeah, I think tomorrow is going to be a mining adventure. Let's see, I don't see anything else that needs to be done here. Uh, let's go over to the... This setup.
Nice. Because it will be nice to also get some more mining resources. Let's see. Let's go to sleep and then... We'll prepare for a mining adventure tomorrow. So much money. So good. Okay, the seller's ready. So we're gonna just take those. See you, Maru. Damn it, you can't make iridium quality juice. Okay, we'll keep that as something to show. Uh, him when he gets here. Oh, thanks, Jody. Not seeing anything I need to harvest here. Yeah, we'll... We'll see about dealing with, uh... Like, just checking the Jumyo huts at the end of the day. Unless we see them harvesting something that, you know, we want. Thanks for the truffle. Nice. And we're not going to worry about anything in there right now. Nice. And we're gonna go ahead and... Actually, we're gonna keep the oil for some cooking. Oh, we got a six now. Nice. So what we're gonna do now is... Put all of those in there. So we'll keep... So animal products. And then we'll have forage and nondescript. Can we cook anything new? Stir fry. Nice. Now for adventuring, we always take eggplant parmesan. There we go, we're done with watering as well.
We'll grab the bombs. And since we got a bit of time before the uh, bus arrives, let's get everything going. I mean, we're gonna be producing a lot. And I mean a lot of stuff. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to see how much stuff we end up actually getting. Uh. And we still have some time left. Okay, now it's about time we head down. Okay, now we can go. Do we see any worms? Any worms around? Please let there be worms. Not seen anything right now. Hmm. Let's just start dungeoneering and then we'll uh, see what we see. Let's see. It'll be over there we'll have all the resources that we care about seeing. Nice. Ooh. Uh, let's eat that, getting started with. Nice. And let's just clear these guys out. Wow, a diamond. Nice. So we're going to be doing... I'm guessing to move on to the next floor, we got to kill s the slimes. Like, it looks like the slimes have the... Uh, One of the slimes has a doorway. Oh, wait. It's the... Yeah. The symbol we have in the corner is one that means you can only move on when you defeat all the monsters. It's just we got no alert for it. Ooh, aquamarine. Nice. Oh, nice, more coal. Hmm. 
Like, we want to find coal, iron. We're pretty good when it comes to gold. Which is almost funny. And we don't... I can't think off the top of my head if we have any more need for Iradian. We probably do. I just can't think of one. You've got to be kidding me. Let's see, that's going to raise my defense up substantially. And now we can... Wipe these guys out. Another dwarf scroll. Uh, these guys have way too much health. Uh. Let's just continue clearing this area. Uh, at least we can trap all the the guys in there, so that's good. Man, we're finding a good amount of, like, aquamarine. Six levels, nice. And we found iron. Not a lot, mind you, but we found iron. And I feel like we're gonna hit level... We might hit level 9 on this trip. from that. Nice. Let's just go down to the next floor. Luckily, we got a lot of eggplant parmesan. So that'll like really bring back our stuff. Uh, are you kidding me? Oh, this is fun. Man, I love having a horde of serpents come just directly at me. Okay, let's just eat this, get a bit more health back. Okay, seems like they've calmed down. Oh, we got a bit more coal. Nice. 
And that thing. Nice. Weird that we didn't have stumbled across any uh, staircases yet. Because, like, this area seems relatively small. Nice, we killed off three. And we found a bit more iron. It's strange that, like, gold is so common here, but iron feels like it's impossible to find. I don't know, it's interesting. Luckily, we're finding, like, a decent amount of coal. So that's good. Ooh, a miner's treat. We'll keep that off to the side. Interesting. That's a lot of Iradian. Well, it depends. They're both fake outs. That feels good. At least they drop actual Iradian. So that's convenient. But, uh... Let's ignore it for now. Because one thing I really want to find... Is the Prismic Shard. I also really want to level up mining. Because it feels like we should be close. At least we're getting a lot of coal. I swear. How many times are you going to try and fake me out, bug? Okay, let's just... Keep on working our way down. Man, I just... That was definitely me not paying attention to where I was going. Okay. Ooh, Magma ge Geodes. Nice. Because with the Magma Geodes... Okay, so we get three more Iron Bars. As we currently are... I'm going to be a bit adventurous. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Okay, do we see anything good? No. I mean, that was a really good expedition. Like, just look at all the stuff we got. Gonna be beautiful to come back and, uh... Get just everything nice and organized. So we're gonna go into Clint's tomorrow. And turn all of our Omni Geodes into... Whatever they turn into. When did we get a lead bat? Okay. Yeah, that looks right. Food, 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 food. All the sap. All the monster bits. Okay. And then we're going to just end up seeing what that looks like later. Nice. I'm really happy with how this uh, turned out. Okay. Oh, we got level six cooking. Nice. Not too much money, but a good amount. He says after raking in 8,000 gold. Oh, it's Sam's birthday. Ah! Maru's pregnant. Maru's pregnant. I fucked Maru. Sorry, trying to swear a lot. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Wait, what is Sam like? Ooh. He loves cactus fruit. Well, that's convenient. Because we just so happen to have cactus fruit. Okay. We'll take care of this stuff... Later. Uh, there's so much different things we can do. I guess today we'll do the greenhouse. Hmm. You know what? I know we also need to go. We need to go back to the, uh... Oh, uh, what was I saying?
I just wanted to, uh... Spend today... Turn it, get in all the Omni Geod Geodes. Give Sam his birthday present. We got a lot of things in the trees. Nice. Give Killer Queen a bit of love. We need to go, uh... So you can put these away. Here, let's put... Oil away. And put the cloth away. Okay, so the wheat's done here. Okay. And given that the wheat's done... Now we can... Go buy some more wheat. Hmm. Yeah. I guess we can also see what all we can craft. Using the, uh, using the new materials that we got, we are almost level. Like, we're probably going to hit level 10 or level 9 mining. I want to go up to the quarry. That's what I was, that's what I was going to say. Okay. S where is Sam? Still at his house. Okay. Nice. Nice. And now we have a lot of geodes to break open. Hmm. I really hope we get some good stuff. <laughs> As opposed to, I hope we get some bad stuff. So we're going to start off with the ones with no possibility of giving us something new. Then again, we are fishing for, like, one item. We're trying to find, like... That actually might be the item we were looking for. That might be it. I don't remember what it looks like. But that does look new. Ooh, a bit of Iradian. Nice. And some coal. Thanks. It was the last one. Heck yeah.
And also, we got a bunch of stuff to sell. So now... We can place that right there. And now, if we go to our artifacts, all we're missing is the prismic shard. And then these artifacts right here. So we're doing fantastic. Let's go up to the quarry. Cool, get some more clay. Nice, hit level nine. I think that makes it so we can build a crystal, a crystallizer now. Now we can return to the farm. Go ahead and get the uh, wheat planted. Now here's the question. In the fall, should I just say screw it and not worry about organizing? You know what? I like having it all nice and organized, so we are just going to keep them organized. Oh, we are doing just really nice with resources. So let's uh let's see what we can craft. We don't really need to make a new mayo machine. We're going to make try to make 6 kegs. There we are. We're going to hold on to that cuz I don't know when we can make we might get a crystallizer soon. And we're slowly working our way towards level 10 foraging. So that's going to be real nice. It's interesting. It looks like we can't fake the uh, master achievement for getting every level 10. Like how we 100% cheated the, uh, the catch every fish. Nice, we can make some traditional wine now as well.
Like, getting the Jumios to plant seeds for you is really convenient. The only issue I see is that... It requires you to, uh... Give up any sense of organization. But I guess that's the price to pay. <sighs> and we need one more chest for the uh, downstairs. So does spice berry fall under okay, it falls under fruit. So we're gonna We're gonna reorganize these. Move all the casks around so that we can get them set up to produce high quality. Actually, if we place it like this... We can then put the chest right there. And since we're going to be chaining it... Because we're never actually going to be putting things in here. ourselves so what we're going to end up doing is that and then as soon as we start to get wine we'll deal with that So I did take care of the plants. I couldn't remember if I did or not. Thanks, Scarecrow. We got the pickled. Nice. Oh, we're going to be producing a lot. As soon as we can just, you know, get them all. When does it say the wine's done? Some of them are coming along. And now that we do have the scythe, we can do everything in here. Let's just kind of shake each tree. There we are. Yeah. I 
I mean, we are producing... Insane amounts of produce. Like... We're going to be raking in a lot of money soon. There we go. Hmm. I guess tomorrow we can go on another adventure. We'll see. Plus one pick proficiency, and we get a crystallize. Lysarium. Okay, let's see what exactly uh, we can make with the crystallize area, or like what it requires to craft. Honestly, not that bad. Howdy, Sam. Guess what? My band is playing a show tonight at Zuzu City. Meet me at the bus stop around 4 this afternoon to leave for the show. You better be there. Uh, well, that puts a damper on our plans. When you were intending to go dungeoneering? That's fine. So we need stone, gold. How many do we need? Three? How much gold do we need? So that's going to get those going. Anything getting harvested that I need to replace? The wasabi. Which we don't have. So I guess we'll just take care of the animals. Like, now that we're level 9 with mining... We should be level 9 with just about everything now. Which is really good for us. There we go. Nice. And now we can put... Just sell all of them. The cat's happy. Hmm. 
I don't think we need the scythe right now. Let's go and buy the wasabi. As well as... I'd say... A lot of stuff. So the wasabi, the uh, red cabbage, because we're going to be done with that soon. Red snappers. Uh, these continue to produce, so we're... We're saving up for next year. I just waste a bit of money. And then... There we are. And then we'll just store all of these in our summer chest. Let's see, sell, sell, sell. Okay, that all looks good. And then basically I think my goal is gonna be if I ever get 99 of a type of food in here, I'll sell that stack. Basically a kind of way to regulate. So I'm not getting too much stuff. Okay. Okay. Here's how we're organizing it. Because I do want to burn through all of our coffee. Because coffee only takes 20 minutes to grow. Let's see. They are planting the wasabi, so that's good.
Okay, all the trees look to be doing really nice. We're good right now. Hmm. Well, let's see if the wasabi is done. No, they're working on it, though. I mean, it's gonna be intense when it's done. Just uh, take a look at it. I just wanted to check to see if there were any worms. Doesn't look like it. Oh, but there are some here. Perfect, we got got another artifact. I didn't think you could get these in the mountain. But uh we take that. Maybe that's part of the uh odd changing one. Sebastian, what are you doing here? Don't you have a show you're going to be performing soon? Lazy. Actually, let's just harvest some stuff. Okay, here we go. Shane's joining him. Nice. Hey, Sam. Thanks for coming. Well, our gear's loaded already. Looks like everyone's set. All right, everyone. Let's get to the bus. I like how just the entire town joins them on this rock tour thing. Ugh. I'm starting to get really nervous. Oh, I thought that was a bit of a drum kick. Oh, here we are. Wish me luck. Oh, that was a bit of a glitch. And I think I said like classic rock. Hey everyone, we're from Pelican Towner. We're called Goblin Destroyer. Kick ass name. Uh, here we go. Ah. 
I mean, it's it's fine. It's good. Wait, Maru's here. <laughs> okay, it's picking up. Maru, why aren't we sitting together? Nice. Wow, this has been intense. It's almost like grunge. Oh, they're great. Nice work, guys. I really love that heavy breakdown at the end. That was a good breakdown. Thanks, everyone. But you should really be clapping for Sam. Without his help, we never decided to make it. Cool. What? So you're like an honorary member of the band, then. Not really. I just kind of showed up once and was like, do this. Here's the music I like. And then 10 gold for a cassette. Yo, that's cheap. Also, why are you using cassettes? <laughs> Went really well. Thanks again for coming with us. Oh, and that was... That was it. I should have figured it wouldn't be like an all-day event, but you know. I always kind of assume a lot of these events are all-day events. At least that is what it feels like for me most of the time. Just enough coal. And I think Gunther closes at six. Well, let's just go talk to Gunther then. Gunther. Well, good thing I caught you. I have another thing for you. Okay, thanks, Gunther. That was it. <laughs> Man, again, we're just nearing the end of the museum. Like... We're just really coming along. Feels good. Feels good. Da -dun -dun -dun. Feel good. Ugh. Maybe I should talk to Andy now. I know he said he was gonna get, try and give me something if I came later that day. Oh, there's Andy. Nice. Let's see. Again, it's just we need to find worms. So we can get... Here we need the elven artifact. The elven necklace or something. I forget what it's actually called, but it's the elven thing. I mean, we'll figure out eventually. Hmm. 
We're up in the mountains. We're getting close to level 10 foraging. Oh, howdy, Sebastian. Huh. So we get 7 XP from picking those up. Okay, tomorrow we're probably gonna go back to the mines. Just for resource hunting. That and also we really need to get a prismic shard or two. I mean, we're probably going to end up having to finish the museum uh, at the end of the... Uh, in winter. Just because that's when there's the most amount of worms. I like the fact that the automation mod links everything together. Okay, what does it make take to make a crab trap? Wood and iron. Unfortunately, we don't have wood. But we do have clay. Well, we actually might just use the crab traps here. Let me check something. Hmm. We need to make bread fish any. Let's also make some escar go. What's dish of the sea? Dish of the sea. We need sardines and hash browns. Hmm. Man, we're really filling up in here. We're going to just also start carrying stuff like that. Yeah, if we hold stuff like that. Okay, what do we need for a worm bin again? Hardwood. Ah. Hmm. So all the wasabi's planted. And we got the rest of the wasabi here. I'll need to see if there's another Jason uh, mod that makes it so I can. Put the, uh, like, I can actually cook with the ingredients. Yeah, so tomorrow we're just gonna 
chilled in the morning for a bit. We're gonna don this setup again. And then we're gonna go to the mine. Hmm. Ooh, it's raining. Say, I know. I know we're going to have a baby soon. Super pumped. Oh, yeah. So the main reason they've had hats during there. Well, thanks, Sam. What is Demetrius like? We're going to give him ice cream. Let's see, they aren't... The only thing they're going to be harvesting is the red cabbage. Meaning... We'll put that there, and we'll come and deal with everything related to that tomorrow. It's going to be nice to get the auto feeder. Like, the only thing preventing us from getting it now is just me being lazy. Okay, tomorrow we'll harvest the fruit. Also, tomorrow we're going to need to... Uh, Clean up the farm some more. Especially Grandpa's grave. There we go. I'm just doing these today. I'm not worrying about the uh, cactus and whatnot. Also, let's see. Uh, if we got anything here. Nice. And we got some coffee. And we'll see what the casks do with it. I mean, today is when things really start to get interesting. Okay. We're going to run up, talk to Demetrius. 
and then run back, grab our bombs, and head on out. Morning, Demetrius. Thanks. Okay. It's going to be interesting to talk to people on my birthday in game. Because since I'm good friends with nearly everyone, we should get a lot of things. So I'm going to help out Uh, it was worth a shot. Luckily... Sorry, I just had to remember what I was trying to grab. So I think we'll head back at like 8... Eight or nine. This will be a bit of a shorter adventure. Just because I do want to, uh... I want to properly, uh... Take care of all my plants. That the Jumio's collected for me. Still not seeing any worms. Hello, wormies. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Uh, I know there's a mod that makes it so... Instead of, there's a staircase for this room. Oh no. Uh, that was much closer than I was planning on. Oh, immediately find one of those. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we need a... We have a lot of digging we got to do. A lot of amethyst. Oh, and there's some topaz as well. Nice. Let's also work on getting copper. Now we don't actually need to concern ourselves with getting geodes. Like, geodes can be a nice resource. But we aren't nearly as dependent on it as we were. Because we got everything we need from geodes. And I'm really happy about that. That like we're making enough progress to just get a bunch of geodes. Like, the museum is, again, nearing conclusion. We'll probably hide the geodes down there now. Ugh. 
So many emails. Okay. And then we'll deal with him. There we go. Oh, that one was a bit anticlimactic, wasn't it? I mean, it's nice that it was because less fighting for us. Uh, we gotta do a lot of digging. Okay, we're gonna eat. Perfect. That was pure luck. I mean skill. Okay. Ooh, some emerald. Okay, getting gemstones really increases our experience of mining. Yeah. Honestly, I feel so I feel good enough with the lava katana that I would be okay with immediately just giving my prismic shard to the uh, museum. when these guys just I'm the only one that should be allowed to get you guys into you should be allowed to stun lock you guys shouldn't be allowed to stun lock me oh is this a spiral yeah spiral is one of the worst shapes to get because the rooms aren't precisely generated Come on, find a big hole to jump down. I don't know if they're procedurally generated here, but like Oh, a bit of a bit of a visual glitch there. <sighs> I like how breaking the common stone doesn't give you any experience. More hard wood, nice. I have enough cave carrots as is. We'll just put those in the cell pile. Like, we're just kind of stuck like this now. We gotta just keep on... Because Spiral... The reason Spiral's so bad is that... It's the most amount of time. You have to spend the most amount of time moving in order to reach the bottom. Or in order to backtrack. So you have stuff like this. Where you're just not finding anything and you're like... There we go. Oh, that was a bit unpleasant, wasn't it? 
At least we got enough food to max out our health again. Some more topaz. I guess we can also just save our chores, our food for tomorrow. One annoying thing about the Skull Caves is how iffy it is how deep you'll get per run. Because, like, some runs you might get to, like, 30 like we did last time. Other runs you might have six eels hit you all at the exact same time. Like, wow, that floor. Bit unfair, ain't it? Uh, I'm not here to fight you guys. But I will not hesitate to murder you all. Okay. Ooh, a bit of wood. Huh. Like, this is always what the feeling. You're like... Okay, I guess I'm doing this now. And like... Uh... Someone is waiting for you at level 100 of the Skull Cavern. Gee, I had no idea. Okay. So now we have a new challenge, which is reach level 100. Oh, you have got to be... F you have to be kidding me. Ugh. hear them all like I have to say I could probably make that noise my alarm clock because whenever I hear it I just get tense and like I am alert whenever I hear that noise I'm like oh I I do not care what happens Only level 50. Or 15. Or 14. Man, that got progressively worse, didn't it? Ugh. Combat boots are pretty terrible. Like, I never understood buying gear. Like, the only thing I'd want to buy from the Adventurer's Guild is the Lava Katana. Which is just because it is the second best blade in the game. Only losing to a very rare blade. Five more Omni Geodes. <sighs> Thanks, Pam. Hmm. 
interesting. Looks like they didn't get the rest of it done. I mean, it looks like everything else got harvested. Oh. Except for you. Okay. Let's just... Get everything put away. We'll deal with Let's see fruit Veggies bomb Okay tomorrow We'll do the rest of the management. I mean, it'll be interesting to kind of see what it all looks like. Okay. Pickaxe, axe. I mean, we got a lot of stuff we got to take care of. Okay, let's get started here. Radish. Oh man, coffee takes so much longer there. How much are they harvesting? Okay, if that's the only one, if they're only harvesting the radish today... Okay, it all looks good for now. So let's just get everything put away. Nice. Okay, now we can take care of the animals.
Let's see. Uh Let's go ahead and put everything in here away. And now we can finally take care of the animals. Luckily, the... I mean... The mods really make this bearable right now. Because, like, without the mods, we would be swamped. Okay. There we go. Let's also take care of this area. The upper region, not the... Not the lower. Oh, it's gonna be interesting with all the coffee done. There we go. I also need to sell the, uh, I'm gonna sell these coffee beans. Okay. Now we're ready. Nothing in here. Nothing in there. Now I just can go about the day however I see fit. Which is most likely going to be spent uh, going to the forest and cutting down some trees. As well as foraging. Because I really want to get enough trees to, uh, or get enough. You know what, I'm gonna need to look at how much wood, or how much gold I have. Because if I have enough, I'm gonna probably make a gold axe. Hmm. So we have eight days of summer left. So you know what, this will probably be the last day of uh, this stream. And then we'll, uh, yeah. We got quite a bit done. We got the Jumio hut set up today. Which is like really necessary for us. We got a bunch of automation worked out, so now it should be easier getting everything set up.
Can we sell farm buildings? Because if we can, we might just sell the shed. Uh, the bottom... The animal product shed. Not the, uh... Not the up top shed. Ah, uh, so much fish. Ooh, honey's done. Uh. There we go. We don't have enough gold yet, so we can't do that. Let's see. What do we need to make a silo again? Okay, let's... Really cheap. Five copper, a hundred stone, ten clay. We're going to start getting a silo built, and then we're going to run back home. We'll also see if we can deconstruct farm buildings. I think we can. Because I feel like I want to get rid of that uh, one shed. And just kind of move all the animal products to their respective rooms. Ooh, community upgrade. Uh, construct farm building. Yeah, so if I go to shed. And we can demolish a building. But for now, we're going to just get a... Another silo built. Nice. And then we're going to see about shifting over. Because I basically just want to make the automation even smoother. I think next stream we're also going to build a big coop. Ugh. So let's, uh, let's get started. So we're going to keep those ones right there. And then slowly just kind of destroy all these. I need to decide what I want to... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. So we're going to place our chest here. Auto grabber. Two of those. Could you please... 
actually we'll uh, set it up on the other side. So we got that auto grabber. Then that all. And we'll just get everything put away. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna keep one of the, uh... And then we're gonna... Place those like that. And now we're gonna figure out what we want to do with the corn. Let's see, we got one, two, three. We're gonna just make a bottom line of corn right there. Hmm. We haven't had to use these yet. We'll go ahead and put these in our tool bin. There we are. Get everything sold. Perfect. Let's see, how much coal do we have? Dang, that ain't looking good. How much copper do we have? Dang, we can make like One tapper. Okay. I mean, it looks like everything is coming along quite nicely. We're gonna get diamonds soon. Yeah. Ugh. Well, I guess we kind of, we got our work cut out for us. We have a lot we gotta start working on. Well, I guess with that, that should uh, probably wrap up the stream. Thank you all for watching. Well, actually, let's spend a bit more time before we do the outro. Because we do got a few things producing, so. Let's actually check up on this area. Because we do have a bit of stuff. And now it's all starfruit wine. We're gonna make a lot of money. Nothing in there we gotta worry about yet. Let's just sell all the coffee. There we go. And go to bed by 10. Nice. Well, now, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you give a follow? Oh, dang. Uh, well, I guess, I guess we have a baby now. 
What what a way to end the stream. Now what should I name my child? Well, there's only one thing I could name him. Josuke. Josuke. Nice. Now, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you give a follow? My name's been Sam or the Pyro Ninja. See you all next time.